Uh, first of all, first things first, introduce yourself. Hi guys, my name is Scylla. And Rob's here, he's, he's riding in the back. Hey everybody. Yep. And we're playing, <laughs> well, it's our Halloween episode, right? Yeah. And I want to take a second to admire your makeup. That looks incredible. Thank you. Yeah. It's unsettling. I hope so. In the most flattering way I can express that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, how to, how playing... to turn domestic violence to a, a funny thin. <laughs> <laughs> I've been shot in he the head. He said it wouldn't happen again. <laughs> he said it. He said it wouldn't happen, but here I am. <laughs> but daddy, I love him. <laughs> All right. So we're playing Kawaii Death Dezu today. Let's find the baddest bitch. Ooh, she was fighting. Ooh, ooh. Uh, uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all, did you guys see the fight this weekend? Uh, I mean, I was at work, so I only got to see a little bit of it. Rob, right. Rob, did you see it? Yeah, I watched some of it. Did you watch the lesbian from Brazil with the butterfly on her neck? Oh, no. Dude, she would, every time she would hit, she would, ooh, ooh, ooh. Sounds hot. Sounds <laughs> no, really she was hot. actually kind of cute, but she's, her tattoos were throwing me off, because why are you going to tattoo your neck mm. and your, your chest and nothing else? Well, some people would be like that. It's creative expression, you know. Wrong, wrong direction. Yeah. Should have started. Arms know. first. Yes. Are you a tattoo snob? I am. You must tattoo the way I have tattooed. Well, I mean, I feel like. Otherwise, you're filth. No, I feel like yes. Boo but... this girl. <laughs> shame, shame. Okay. Filthy heathen. First of all, not filthy, just. Ugly. Just heathen. Okay. Just heathen and just not cute. I'm listening. Okay. All right. So uh, uh, it's our uh, Halloween uh, episode. What's your favorite type of Halloween movie or film? Cool venomous, huh? No, look at it. She's whipping with her hair. I whip my hair back here, but I whip my hair. Um, my favorite Halloween movie. I love that you beat like souls on. You like, like more like family style, like Hocus Pocus, and like slashers, like Scream, supernatural slashers, like Okay, Freddy so Krueger. I mean, I mean, I feel like it depends on the day, but yeah. like I like like the family style like hocus pocus yeah. and like all the disney ones yeah. but i also really like have a like an interest in like the horror yeah like emphasis have you ever on, seen the nun emphasis on horror horror like if there's some hot chicks in there yeah yeah i'm right there with you the nun yeah i've seen the nun i like it i literally had nightmares about that shit for like months it is really creepy yeah i can't go into a cathedral Really? Because of it. Every time we're going to the cathedral, yeah. I'm like, Don't you blame the movie because <laughs> <laughs> she's a devilish head. She's like, as soon as she put the ho uh, holy water on her, she's like, It's <laughs> You have and like a does. you have, have like a go to movie every Halloween you want to watch? Uh yeah, Hocus Focus would be it. Yeah. What about you guys? Uh go ahead, Rob. You first. Uh I mean there's always a nightmare before Christmas. Mm. Mr. Christmas fave. himself. Yeah. <laughs> And then, um, like I said before, I think like Freddy's my dude. Why so, is Freddy your dude? Because it's hilarious while he kills yeah. you. And so here's how I look at it too. Like I can see, I like it because I feel like growing up, I felt like that was real. So that's what really got me. I felt like, yo, if you die in your dreams, you're dead, son. You're dead. Yeah. yeah. And then dreams, like, you know, I feel like that could happen. Like I'm never going to be caught in some cabin woods anywhere. So Jason's not getting me. I ain't gonna, what I look like going to be at a lake. <laughs> if anybody knows me, you know I'm not camping, going some lake. So Jason ain't gonna get me, or I'm not out in some weird desert and some fucking people under the stairs are gonna grab. Like, yeah, no. I just, you know I, I feel like Freddy uh, had a little more. Yeah, he's like unavoidable. That. Yeah. You're dead, so that shit had me. Oh damn. <laughs> Oh my yeah, god, she's like... She's Grim Reaper. Oh my god. I love it, love it. She turned the What's mic What's her down. name? Grimmy? I don't remember. I didn't see it. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Grim Reaper. Grim oh my... Bing, bing, bing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, girl. Does the fact that they turn into monsters make them more hot, or is it about the same? Or is it like drop off for you? Say that one more Does the fact that they're monsters make them more hot for you, or does it kind of like stay about the same, or does it, is there a drop off? And, and from like characters. how attractive they are. Yeah. Oh, it really fucking depends. Like, yeah. I feel like I don't. Yeah. It's not off the table. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not a deal breaker. <laughs> it really depends. Like, I don't know. Like, scream. Like, uh, the ghost face. I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about you guys? Like, if, if I was with a girl and I seen this face come out, I'd probably. 
bust a quick load and then also <laughs> get super super soft at the same time. Dude, this I don't is know how that's fun. So I feel like men that masturbate are really good at games because my forearms hurt right now. Yeah, we're all good at games. <laughs> yeah, you guys really are good at games. I bet you if we had a two finger one, you'd be killing it. It is it. <laughs> I actually am not. That's why I if it was with one. my tongue, maybe. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> style. You play harmonic style. Nobody's. There's no wrong way to fucking eat a Reese's. All right, let's see. <laughs> oh my god. What? Yeah. Dude, I love it. That's like a uh, homegirl from um, Suicide Squad. Yeah. Yeah, she is. It. The the one where she like flips her hand and she like. That was dope. Dude, that was a sick ass scene. Like that one. Hard to even kill that one. See, right. like that kind of crazy girl. I would take her. I mean, that's most girls anyway. You just don't. Yeah. Visibly see it. Yeah, the fucking. I mean, after a couple shots that, of tequila. You... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The lunatic that lives inside their head. Yeah. yeah. Like their eyes roll back a little bit yeah. and they're just like a whole new bitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a deal breaker. You just have to decide. Yeah. How bad is it? Like. It's like she thinks I'm cheating, but the only person I'm cheating on is her other personality. <laughs> right. Yeah. How can you cheat when she's got so many bitches inside her head? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Is she going to harvest my soul for Satan or is she just going to throw all my clothes in a bathtub and burn my house down. We don't know. <laughs> Are either a deal breaker? No, I don't think so. Um, in terms of movies, if we're still on that topic, I kind of like, uh, I like, I like so many, honestly. I love this fucking, uh, horror movies. Oh, so, like, I really lives? love Jennifer's Body. Uh, I really, I just watched Ready you or like Not. Megan Good's Body? Huh? Megan Good's Body? I Megan mean, uh, Fox. Megan, uh, Fox, yeah. Yeah, Megan Fox. Megan Good, too. Megan Good, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in no, my I mind, like, I replaced her with Megan Good. Dude, if it, Megan Good did like a reboot, yeah, it was like a oh, oh, imagine who's the guy that made like um us? What's his name? Jordan Peele. Peele. Yeah, make him make one with Megan Good, <laughs> and it's like, it's like out of HBCU. Yeah, dude. Do a, do a sequel, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Can All right. Get me we'll off send that out girl emails. with a fucking army behind me. Um. <laughs> Yeah, we just saw Beetlejuice. What did you think of it? I don't think I really got your your full my full thing about it. Yeah, your your review and so, your thoughts. How do I close likes, this? Dislikes. This is okay. Um, I liked it a lot. I had just recently rewatched the first one mm. to like make shit make sense. Mm. But like, <laughs> like I think that he did very well with like the filming of it all. Mm. I can't I can't walk and chew gum. Can we play? Yes. Play? Talk about it. Yeah. Um, like, I think he did a really good job with it, but I feel like it was rushed. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like the first Beetlejuice, like, it had a, it, it, it kind of like, you know. It flowed better. Yeah, yeah. I feel I like agree. it was rushed in the second one. I agree. And I feel like they could have done a lot more with, like, what they had. <clears throat> but other than that, I think it was pretty cool. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a lot of fun, but I agree with you. I felt the same way. Rob, what did you think about it? Uh, yeah, I could go with that. I mean, I also go into it wasn't expecting this like great cinematic classic, but it was like it was supposed to just be fun. So when I look at it from that, I was like, oh, I like it for what it was. Um, I think they did a good job of trying to get people who obviously were too young to even know what the fuck the first movie was. Yeah. To get them to still like a classic, you know? I think that's kind of hard. Sometimes you rewatch films, you're like, I used to think this was awesome, but it sucked. Like, Mm -hmm. I think people can still appreciate the first Beetlejuice. Oh, very Michael much so. Michael Keaton's awesome. Um, yeah, I think it was just more just like keep you like lightly entertained. Yeah. I don't think there was anything about trying to build a story or make sure there's a third one. So if that was the case, like it, I don't, I don't mind where they did with it. You know, I think they definitely did the end. Not to be a spoiler for who didn't watch it, but like the musical end kind of went a little too far. It did go long. It's like um, I read that from a lot of people. But you know, again, it is what it is. I'm not. I wasn't mad about it, yeah. you know. But um, yeah, if they wanted to go deeper in the story, like even like more about that kid's background, the death of the family, and all that yeah. stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like they did. You're talking about Jenna, right? Yeah, well, like, like her, the but like the guy, she, the, yeah. the guy, like wanted to take over her body. Oh yeah, like I feel like there was just so much more that could have been talked about. Yeah. But the cool thing was, is like it. Like you didn't see that shit coming. Like I did. Oh, yeah. I saw it. Like I was like, something's up with this weird ass energy. Yeah. But like, what happened? I was like, oh shit. Yeah. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe it was a little busy. Maybe that's what it was. All these other mm-hmm. extra characters that were coming in yeah. took away from the storyline that could have been. Yeah. But I think that, you know, uh, what's his name? Tim Burton definitely did a really good job with Wednesday's story. In the, in the- I did like Wednesday a lot. Yeah. I could be biased. She's awesome. Her. I think Jenna Ortega is awesome anyway. I love Wednesday and I love Jenna Ortega. So mm-hmm. I think, uh, yeah, I might. I'd have the sugar rush going while I was watching it, you know? Yeah. The only thing I didn't like about that was she seemed more pouty as opposed to just like I don't I don't look as Wednesday the character as like a pouty little baby. This one she seemed like a little like ugh. Uh, like just like more like a little brat. Wednesday just bratty. yeah. Wednesday's uh, more like hey I like wine I'm a little different but uh, you know. I think that he definitely created a new character with like. I think they, yeah they, I think they definitely wanted to go a different direction just have her like kind of reinvent her. And then have her be anything like what we've seen before, like Christina reaching the old movies. Yeah. Yeah. And a big support of going to the movies. You're a big support of what movies? Going to, just the, going movies. to the movies. Just going to the movies, keep theaters. I, yeah, I, like movies I think people are getting lazy. Just like, I'll oh, wait till it comes out. Yeah. I'll stream it. Especially like, they're turning it around so quick and releasing it on like video on demand. We can rent it at home and we. Fall Guy was in the theater for like what, two weeks or something like that? And that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, and I don't know the numbers, but I'm curious. I mean, the only reason you do it, like, if they feel they're just making them. Right? Yeah. I don't know. People just weren't going to the theater to see it. Like, I saw the numbers a few days ago, what it actually ended up doing. I think it did all right. So it might not have been a bad move to, like, really turn it home, but turn it around and, like, bring it out at home so people would have access to it more easily. Speaking of the movies that are out now, I know, uh, is it, maybe it's this week going to start with uh, Almost in Smile 2. I do want to see that. that. You saw the first one? I never saw the first one. No? I liked it. It was pretty creepy. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. I don't know. You never know with sequels, though. Yeah. Those are with horror movies. Like, I feel like a lot of the times, like, the mystery, not knowing, like, letting your brain fill in the gaps is creepier than, like, you know, knowing exactly what it looks like or whatever the creature is or whatever the entity is, you know? Yeah. And it's hard to recapture that a second time. Right. Uh, let me see. Is she a stripper? I think so. That, that looks like a pole, right? Yeah. Oh man, she got a squirt. That's, <laughs> that's what the bubble came out of. Yeah. <laughs> Look at yep. she's squirting on these hoes. I'm a champ with my fingers. Um, so. <gasps> Like, just be patient. I watched this tutorial Look, on YouTube the other day. Look, they're slipping on her tsunami. Oh my god, no, her squirt's eating them. <laughs> and she's just sitting here like, yeah. Where did you learn how to do that? Quiet death this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you want to tell everybody where your costume was inspired from? You did your own makeup, right? No, this actually, this isn't makeup. Is it? I got no. shot. Is, okay. Hello. Promises deceased. This is her corpse who was so dedicated to being too? on the show. You're nope. literally you fell off the rainbow carrier. That right? would make me so happy. I would actually be psyched to find out that like I didn't have to go to work tomorrow. That'd be the best. <laughs> Alright, so how did you die then? How did I die? Yeah. So <laughs> how dark can I get? As dark as you want. Whatever you want. We don't, we, don't have any spon- the YouTube. we don't have any sponsors yeah. to lose, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was at a football game. Yeah, I'm listening. In Compton. Yeah. All yeah. Right. We get it. There's a bunch of black yeah. people. Okay, <laughs> say no more. Yeah, we're yes. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> my ex, well, no, my ex pulled up. He got jealous yeah. and, yeah. And her dad. You were doing like your cheer signs. I thought you were throwing gang signs. No, he just, I was doing what I was supposed to do. Yeah. And he, he thought I was fucking on somebody else in the other. Oh, okay. And now I'm, mm. so he went, and right. I'm here. There's some yeah. Tyler Perry movie shit. Okay. <laughs> like Badia hits yeah. the turf. Yeah. <laughs> Old R. Kelly video. <gasps> Trapped in the closet, part 68. Oh my God. You ever see that shit? No. I mean, trapped in the closet? Let me tell you. It's the longest yeah. fucking video. It's like a 10 part series that he made. It, it was. It, it might have been more than 10 parts. So, R. Kelly, I want to say this is like what, early 2000s probably? Yeah. R. Kelly 
he releases this song called Trapped, Trapped in the Closet. It's like an op opera. I think he called it like a ghetto opera, right? Yeah. It's like the first song is like this chick who's like hooking up with this dude and her husband's coming home and the dude has to hide in the closet. And, you know, it's just all kinds of drama ensues, right? Then Trapped in the Closet Part 2 comes out. You find out where the husband was coming from. The husband was coming home from like his boyfriend's house or some shit. You find out he was cheating too. And then like it just snowballs. Everybody, everybody in this town, in this community is fucking one another. And it's all like a big secret. It all comes to light in this R. Kelly video. And he, I think he plays like two or three different characters. Right? Yeah, and we waited every week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, however long it was, I remember he like, it was just like a new video, a new yeah. chapter. It was delayed out. I was like, man. Trapped in the closet. And as soon as it was, we are like, all right, let's watch it. Yeah. Got to find out. What we come this far. Yep. Got to know what happened. Ronald dies. Sorry, I really can't walk into that. I did not hear it. It's cool. I'm so sorry. You're not missing anything. I but need I need concerta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, you're doing great, though. So focused. This is why men... Don't hear their girlfriends when they're yapping. It's just, this is hard. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> She's leaning forward. She knows shit's real. Dude, I get so entrapped with shit like this. Like, movies too. Like, I'll be talking to them like, Why do you think that's okay for you to just go into the closet like that? The fuck are you doing? You know the killer's in there, so why won't you just leave that? Like, my girl's looking at me like, Babe, it's a movie. Yeah, I've been to the movies with you probably. Oh, yeah, yeah I forgot. <laughs> I was just say, it's uh, that's just in your DNA. That's not an exaggeration. Yeah. No. I would not be a good actor in movies because I would be taking shit so literal. They'd be like, "Dude, we're acting right now." It's not in the script. It's not. It no. should be. Said, oh hell no, we ain't doing that up in here. I'm method. I'm method acting. I'm getting to the core of my character's trauma. Oh my god! Wait. So I was a theater kid my whole life. Right. Really? Yeah. Third theater kid, choir kid, art kid. Yeah. Fine arts all around. Uh, yeah. They're kind of yeah. yeah, with my makeup. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Anyways, so, so I we were doing Adam's Family for my senior year. I think it was gonna be one of our last shows. Fine. No, it wasn't the last show. It was one of the seniors' last shows. It was like the end of year one. Anyways, so I really wanted to be Wednesday. And I ended up becoming grandma. So you remember the grandma? Yeah. So in the theater side of it, I don't know about, I forget about the regular one, the movie one, but grandma does, isn't grandma to anybody, right? She's yeah. literally not blood related to anybody. And they kind of talk about it briefly in the movie and in the, in the show. Well, so my teacher was like, you need to come up with your backstory for all your characters. And so when it came to me and I literally hadn't thought about it and that just on the fucking fly, I said, oh, she was, basically Mama Odie in um, Princess and the Frog. Princess and the Frog. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> so she was going to school in this neighborhood in, in New Orleans, and um, the it was like like light voodoo and dark voodoo, and like the voodoo man was a dark voodoo, obviously, and she yeah. did light voodoo with her family. It was kind of like a Romeo and Juliet type of situation. Yeah. And so I was just like, okay. So I was like, okay, so they were living over there in New Orleans and um, they were really close friends. Like they just wouldn't let their families know. And they built this like fort in the forest and they would go and like, you know, chop it up and like practice their magic together or whatever. But like, obviously they were doing their own type of magic, but like they kind of like figured out each other's magic. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm loving all this already. So fucking what ended up happening was, is that um, he started catching feelings for her, but she wasn't. And she just kind of knew like, I can't be with this man. And my family's not gonna accept that and I'm just not gonna like deal with it. So I'm just gonna like, you know, try to like distance myself from him. Mm. So he started getting jealous and crazy because she started like dating other guys mm. while they were growing up. And around the town, they were like... <laughs> I love, <this>. yeah. <laughs> I love <laughs> the detail of yeah. the story. All around the town, there was like a lot of dead bodies popping up. You pulled all this out of your ass on the fly? Literally on the fly, I have right. issues. Continue, like, yeah. And I was like, so Maybe this was like a repressed memory or something like that. This Man, it was my past yeah. life. <laughs> did, I, did I block this out? Right. Go ahead. I'm listening. So, if I can... You were a madam back in the day. Mm -hmm. Type shit in New Orleans. I was Creole as fuck. But, uh, <laughs> yep. Yep. my That's obsession me. with New Orleans is very wild. But, uh, what ended up happening was, is that she, like, nobody could figure out where these people, why these people were dying. Yeah. And it was all different types of ways, but they could not trace it. There was no scars, there was no yeah. nothing. 
So that she fucking knew because she remembers, like she goes to the treehouse and she remembers, like there was this book, there was a spell, and it was just killing people. And yeah. it was just him with the fucking shit, right? He's just needling people and they were just dying. Well, she figured it out, so she had to leave. Because she was like, dude, he's going to fucking kill me. He knew that she was trying to leave, so he beat the fuck out of her, mm. knocked all her teeth out. Yeah. And somehow, some way, she he just like left her alone. She walked away, and she's like, "I gotta get the fuck out of here." So what she ended up doing was she ended up sobbing. I can't do it. She ended up. <laughs> I'm hot as fuck right now. She was like, "I have to do dark magic in order to get away from this dude." So she ended up going, like, trying to like walk out of like New Orleans, and she would kill people and rip out their jaws and put it in her mouth, and she would become that person. And so she kept doing that and kept doing that and he kept figuring out where she was. So eventually she came across the Adams family house. She was like, oh, grandma's here, let me in. I totally forgot this was the Adams family. Oh, time. sorry, yeah. Backstory. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. so she's in their house and she just puts the hex over the house to where he can't find it. Yeah. She, But she found an old lady and she cut that old lady's mouth out and she just became this old lady. And that's who grandma was. I prefer this story to cry. But, like, imagine if Tim Burton made that shit. Told you, put it in the email. Yeah. Put it in the email. But, like, because it's on this broadcast, I copyright this shit. Yeah. Okay? I mean, if anybody steals it, like, this will be hella proof. Free dated. Oh. Whatever they do. Exactly. I'm like also watching those thinking. movies. People getting kidnapped and going to weird places and getting them back. Yeah. But I feel like me and Drew can go find them again. I yeah. love that. Thank you. Gotcha. By the way, this is a friends. big ass bitch. She looks like the hormone monster from Big Mouth. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take bubble baths. <laughs> <laughs> so you got all your decorations and everything done for Halloween? Not done. No? No. Did you see the, all my story about... I did. All my There's a lot about... already and you're not done? No, so I'm going to print out... Do you remember in Beetlejuice where it was like, find a love match on that flyer? I'm gonna yes. print out a bunch of those shits, crumple them up, and like put them all over the fucking wall outside my. Yeah, I'm going extra this year. Outside, like where your neighbors can see and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I bought a shrunken head, and mm. I'm gonna mod podge it to make it look like a real shrunken head with like makeup and everything. Yeah. Um, my skeleton has a cigarette in her mouth mm. with a wig, like a lace front, and then she's got eyelashes. So Sounds cute. Hot. What is that? Is she single? Like, what is she? Um, What's her deal? She is definitely old. Her name's Sylvia. Love it. She's like in her. No, well, she's not. 40s. Mm. What are these things? Is this whack whackable? No, they're, they're your helpers. Wait, should we go get them? We would go to this place called Himalaya. Wait! Taste, taste of Himalayas. Wait, where is it? There's a couple. There's one. I want to say it's North Park, or maybe it's South Park. Should and we there's go actually one in Point Loma. I want to go. Are you down Let's for go. dumplings today? The answer to that question is never going to be no, promise. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. I know your answer is yes. I'm asking this. Uh, after I go off work, yeah. Oh my god, my coochie is sweating right now. My coochie fire? is so wet and sweaty right now. <laughs> That's the entertainment you come here for, folks. <laughs> Dynamic Menace. I thought you were taking another one. Oh, sorry, no. But my sister said, you having a Switch controller in your hand feels weird. Who said that? My sister. Oh. Shut the fuck up. No, nothing about like the bullet wounds here. <laughs> <laughs> right, no. That's normal to my family. <laughs> I used to just be like in the middle of summer, just downstairs just doing Halloween makeup, getting ready for October. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't in say In February, nothing. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I ask that question every February. What are we going to be for Halloween? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what we're going to be for Halloween at work. Either. I'm no? To a wedding. Why? Why would you do that? Is it a... It's like, literally their favorite. Are you gonna crash it? Do you get to dress up for the wedding? I hope so. I want to be. What? You get to crash it, like you. Like, no, I'm in it. Or not in it, but I'm, I'm invited. I don't have to crash you it. You should, if you're a bridesmaid, you should wear like the bridesmaid dress and oh, everything, just like that, but still do the bullet holes and stuff like that. No, you know what I want to be. You're the only one though. <laughs> What's her name? This is Argentina from Beetlejuice, where she's all blue. Yeah. I want to be her. Yeah. Uh. I haven't bought my makeup yet, but I found this like girl. Oh, her name's Snitchery. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Should I be that for Halloween? That's good. <laughs> Did you do this girl yet? Uh, yeah, that's the one that had like the spirit protruding out of her torso. Remember? Your memory is. 
It was like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I can't remember what I had for breakfast. I mean, like, okay. That's, that's probably not good. That's a sign of something. It's called ADHD. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. I'm just unmedicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think of the game so far? What do you like about it? Do you like that you're harvesting the souls of the innocents? Yeah. Or is it just I already like do that on a daily basis. So it feels like home to me. Yeah? That's why you're so good at it. You've, like a duck takes the water. Is it a mix that it's you're harvesting the souls of the innocent and the girls are super cute? All of the above. I think that's probably why I'm so sweaty because of my legs. I just keep because of the girls? I feel like I just have a lot of souls like Keep harvested going. in my body. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm getting a little full. You're not a big eater. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry guys, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Exactly. <laughs> like I feel like if I was one of those, I'd be like, I'm on a diet. <laughs> Is there a vegan option? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I like this one. Yeah, this one makes more sense for me. Because, you know, they don't. Oh, shit, shit, shit. That was good, though. Yeah, no, go, keep going. You're getting better and better. Dude, yeah. my forearms? Yeah. My. What? A big dog. Is that you get better? Repetition. You need oh to get, some, get some reps in. Uh, you can't uh, see this, but she's holding it up against her titties. Yeah, and I, have I feel no like you're doing way better too. Now it's good. Now it's against your throat. Yeah. Come on. Great. I pressed both the same time. Rampage. Damn, she didn't come this time. Try it again. You know where you were? Oh my god. All right, uno más. You want you want to stick with this chick? Yeah, she's okay. dead. One balls are coming. Come on, this side, bitch. Come on. Oh, get it, get it. Yeah. Come on, both sides, both sides. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Both sides. Let's go. Oh, damn. All right, you're good. All right, did you have fun playing this one? I did. That was a yeah. hard level. You did well. That was a hard level. That was a medium. Does it just go up on its own, or is, did, did you no, hit a I button? No, I think I put it. The well, I was playing on the harder one. You just didn't change it. I don't think. Oh. Okay. See, yeah. See, look, that was pretty hard. See, look how far down there. Yeah, you're doing really well. Well done. You did good today. I feel like this helps with ADHD. I feel like it helps you sharpen you your feel, shit. You yeah. feel, yeah. I think because I'm definitely uh, low key autistic. And then, we're uh, both high key autistic. Yeah, that's why we're besties. Exactly. Yeah. And it's uh, not autistic. It's Autistic. Look at that. Both of you. With, uh, that. What side of the and bus? And Rob's an ally. I'll drive the bus. What side of the bus are you, are you sitting Stop on? Stop it! <laughs> Ladies are always right, so they're on the right. Oh. All right. That's going to do it for us today, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you hanging out with this. You have fun today? I did. All right. We'll see you next time. Happy Bye. spooky season.